Thought I'd make a uh, quick little video this morning about um, biodiesel and some misconceptions about it. So I was watching a couple of videos on YouTube the other day and I don't remember which, it, uh, which channel it was or what video it was. But I see it a lot and people are saying that biodiesel is horrible, don't put anything above B20 in your tank, it's going to wreck your fuel system, your injectors, your pump, whatever. The deal uh, in North Carolina and we made vats of biodiesel. And the problem with biodiesel and why people are having problems with it is not the fuel itself, but rather how people are using it. So when I say that, biodiesel is a conversion process. You can't jump from B20 to B100 to run straight 100. Um, the reason for that is, and this is where people run into problems with their trucks, small cars that run on diesel or whatever, is they skip everything and they jump to 100. Biodiesel is fully biodegradable and the byproduct of making biodiesel, one of the byproducts is soap. So when you put biodiesel and you filter most of the soap out, but the biodiesel itself is still somewhat of a cleaning agent. So when you put it in your tank at B100, it's a cleaning product. So when you use regular diesel, it leaves varnish behind and some other stuff like that. So when you put biodiesel like 100 or 50 or B whatever, B anything B20 and above, it will clean that varnish off and send it through your filter and then that gets clogged up and then it'll send all that crap in the lines in the tank it'll send it through the pump wreck the pump wreck the injectors and that's why people have the problem with biodiesel they're not doing it right what you have to do is you take your b20 and you run that in your tank and then you bump up to the next level of b whatever in your area if you can find it and then you run a tank or through to a tank or two through it, and then you have to switch the the fuel filter, because all that stuff in the tank is going to go end up in the fuel filter, obviously. So you don't want to get that clogged up. So you change the you change the fuel filter, then you bump up to the next level of B whatever you have in your area. So you do that, and you run two tanks, and it goes on and on. And then when you get to 100, you change the filter one more time. And then you can run B100 and it will not screw up your fuel system as long as you get it from a reputable place and they filtered it properly and stuff like that. You cannot run it in the winter. B100 will gel in the tank and everywhere else unless you've got like a tank heater or something like that. But usually in the winter, I would suggest going and do like a B20. I just, and the, and the whole power thing, that's another thing. With the power that you would get from biodiesel is marginally less, if any noticeable power difference between 100%, you know, pump diesel versus 100% biodiesel. You really can't tell the difference in power numbers. It's going to be a little less, but not much, not noticeable. So, biodiesel gets a bad rap because people are skipping from B20 to B100 that need to go through the process of converting it. And it, there's not like you got to change anything but the filter. So, there's not really an expensive conversion. Um, that is a really loud bird. So, you want to start from B20, just change your filter every two tanks and just keep your work in your way up because it does clean the system out. And the act of cleaning that system out sends all that crud to your injectors, to your pump, and through your filter. And that's why people have all these failures. It's not because of the biodiesel. It's because they're not using the biodiesel correctly. You have to step it up. Anyways, that's just my short little rant this morning. Um, take it with a grain of salt. People that have it in their heads that biodiesel is the horrible thing in the world and they shouldn't use it, they're going to disregard this video anyways and not use it because they don't understand that it's not going to kill everything if you do it correctly. Uh, hopefully I've changed some people's minds on that and that they might try it. It's not 
we used to use biodiesel to run 12 valves and we never had a problem if you convert it correctly. If you skip a step and you just skip all the way up to 100, then that's when you run into problems. So, thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification uh, bell. And uh, you guys have a nice day.